so hi guys in this video i will be telling you how to install the official balam kernel v2.1.1 for android 11 12 and 12.1 so the kernel was there from a long time but now it is official and the rom supports aosp miui and miui based custom roms and i don't think it supports roms based on hentai or hentai os based rom so this ROM, this kernel works on AOSP and MIUI as mentioned right here. So, there are two modes which is the performance. So, if you install a performance kernel, it will be good for gaming and other tests. And power saving would be for people who don't play games and just use the phone for normal. And I have downloaded the performance kernel and I will be installing that and showing you uh, Geekbench and Antutu tests. So, once you have downloaded the for once you have downloaded the kernel, it will be in your downloads folder. So let's go ahead and reboot into recovery. So you can a uh, power press your power up power button, click on reboot and keep on pressing your power up button until your phone boots into TWRP. So once your TWRP has booted, you can go ahead to backup and we can backup our boot and DTBO image which is the, your, you can be backup in your kernel and boot image in case of any boot loop or something so I have already installed the Balam older version kernel so I am just backing up this swipe to backup after the backup is done we can go to home we can go to wipe advanced drive we can select the alley cat cache then we can swipe to wipe and once that is successful we can go to install and I have downloaded it so it's in my phone's download folder if you had transferred it from your PC it would be here if you have OTG you can select this and go to OTG now let's go to downloads folder and this is the latest Balam kernel 2.1.1 and do not check this automatically refresh TWRP after flashing a ROM so this should be unchecked and do not check anything else just swipe to confirm flash so you won't be losing root if you install this kernel so there is no yeah as you can see match is directed patching kernel so e flashing matches is not necessary so once the installation is done if you want you can wipe your dalvik now we can go to reboot and we can select our system so let's wait for our phone to get booted into the system so once your phone is booted let's go in So yes, the uh, booting did have successful and if by chance you were stuck in a boot loop and you can all you can do is so you'll be stuck in your MIUI logo at that time you can keep on pressing your power and volume up button you will boot into DWRP and that time you can go to restore you can select your boot and DVO, DTBO image and you can restore that which will be replacing your kernel to the one you had before flashing this so now as you can see these two widgets loaded properly and these two took time which was normal as usual let's not go to this let's go to Geekbench and let me run a test okay let me show you the tests run CPU benchmark so now as you can see we have got a single core of 997 and 3319 as a multi core which is pretty good for MI 11x or a snapdragon 870 to get that much and you can see her score comparison right here and multi-core also you can see so these are the comparisons for that and I have done the test for untoted benchmark which I have skipped let's open that right now and let me show you the benchmark as you can see I have got 6,82,642 while testing with this kernel and this is very uh, okay for this phone and this is a decent score for this phone now let's go for the storage test let's do the storage test again this 30,000 was done for a long time ago so it can be ignored so as you can see we have got a score of 42,000 which is very good for this phone 
and in some ROMs I did get 48,000 that might be because of some running applications in the background as you can see Geekbench is running right now so that is it for this video if this video helped you please like share and subscribe